Welcome to Watch Dogs Legion, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. All right, so first up is bypass the access points. So you can see right now, the box is way over there that I need to interact with in order to open this gate. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna do the mode a couple times, or you can shoot the gate and get the guards to open the gate for me. So I always do this when I'm not making a how-to guide. When I'm making a how-to guide, then I'll go, I'll show everybody how to you know, open up the gate. But whenever I'm just exploring around or maybe I wanna complete a mission, I'll try to bypass the access point that way. It's quicker and faster. And another thing to note about the access point, you can shoot it. The game does tell you this at one point, but this is just more or less a quick reminder. Next up, melee with your gun. So let's say you just bypass that access point. They're gonna to wanna to fight you because you just insulted them. So what I normally do is I equip my gun and then I hit them a couple times and the takedown comes up real fast. I never fight them with hand-to-hand -hand combat because it takes too long. I always equip my gun, hit them a couple times, get that takedown, and then move on. It's quicker, it's easier, and it doesn't draw any attention. Next is how to shoot while driving. This is something that I figured out, you know, just recently is while you're driving, if you press the up button on the D-pad, it will equip your weapon or you can hold it down and select the weapon you want to equip. Normally you would press L2 then R2 to shoot, but while you're driving, you would just hit the L1 button to shoot. So it's a little different, you know, it switches the buttons around a bit, but in order to shoot while you're driving, you just press the up button on the D-pad and then you can start shooting. This is very useful if someone's trying to chase you and you want to get them off your tail. Just equip your gun, take out the driver, and then you should be good to go. Next, I want to talk about the uniform access. So the two most important ones are Albion and the Clan Kelly. So you want to recruit them right away, but you don't want to recruit any one of them or just the first one that you see. You want to keep an eye out for these special unique ones. So for the first one I'm gonna show you was the Albion Captain, and that one has an elite drone which has a homing bomb. So when you throw the drone up, it will home in and bomb the enemy. So you definitely want that one, or there's one that has an enhanced stealth. Don't just settle for any of the uniform access. Check them out and see if they have a special ability that you might like. Now with the Clan Kelly, they have an enforcer and they have an elite turret spider that fires at enemies. So with this one, you can equip two different turrets. You can do your normal one that you have in your own menu and then the elite spider one and have that use that. So check them out, see if they have any kind of unique special abilities that you might want and definitely recruit those versus a regular one. Okay, next I wanna talk about what to get first with your tech points. So the first one I'm showing you right now is the spider bot. This one you should get first because you wanna be able to access areas that you won't be able to and get collectibles that you cannot reach. This will help you out throughout missions, so you definitely wanna get this first. Next one we wanna get is the Deep Profiler. This will help you recruit people that do not like DeadSec. So whenever you're checking out an NPC, you'll notice that they have a red thumbs down. You'll be able to recruit them now. And then last, you wanna get the upgrades and the hacks for the Chase Drone, and the riot and the CT drones so that you can turn them on your side or you can disable them. You wanna get all of those because whenever you're in a mission and they start coming at you, you want them to help you out or you wanna disable them so you don't have to worry about them. And then the final one, just upgrade your favorite weapon. But these are the ones I recommend that you get first and then start working on the other ones. Next, I wanna talk about instant recruits and these are the ones with the green thumbs up. So if you ever see anyone with a green thumbs up, just go ahead and then recruit them right away with the R1 button. These guys are instant. So what I've noticed is in order to find these guys, they're, they're normally friends of someone you've already recruited, or say you're just wandering the street and you see one of the officers messing with another NPC and you go and you help them out. If you run into that person again later, most likely they're gonna have a green thumbs up and you can go and recruit them. So keep an eye out for them because they're instant, you'll have them available right away and you don't have to do any missions at all. And I did find one, 
which was nice because they had a medical uniform access and I didn't have one of those yet. So it was kind of nice. I was able to instantly recruit them and have access to that character. Next, I want to talk about how to remove a recruit. Now, this is fairly simple to do, but I've been getting this question a lot. So I want to quickly touch on this. So when you go to the menu and you scroll to team, you want to find someone that you don't want anymore. And what you'll notice, you see where it says edit, you're going to select edit. And then over here at the bottom right, it says retired operative. So you're going to hit that button and then it will ask you, you know, to confirm it. And then that person is gone. So if you go to the bottom and you want to do, you know, a potential recruit, since I already got a medical guy, I'm going to retire this guy, same thing, hit a, and then you want to abandon recruitment and then select, you know, to confirm. Now there is a max number of people that you can have. I haven't maxed it out yet, even though I have a bunch of people. Just keep in mind, once you max it out, you're going to have to get rid of some people and that's how you do it. Next, I want to talk about quick hacks. So if you play the original game, this is kind of an old school trick. If you didn't, then this is going to be something that I recommend doing. Uh, when you hold down the L1 button, it'll bring up the hack. So then you can hit an additional button. Instead of doing that, just tap L1 a couple times real quick and it'll do a quick hack. So instead of pulling it up and then stuck in the button, just tap, tap, and then it'll do a quick hack real quick. Uh, this works with the spider bot too. Like if you're trying to open up a vent, you can just go tap, tap, and then it'll open up the vent too. So just a quick reminder in case you didn't know this or you didn't play any of the previous games. All right, there you have it. Those are the tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. If there's anything else you would like to add, then please leave them in the comments down below. These are the things that I do, you know, throughout the game or I've been doing a lot is like, you know, the bypassing the access point, I melee with my gun, I shoot when I drive, making sure that you get the right uniform access person and what to do with your tech points first when you start the game. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and I will see you next time. You get the sudden urge to turn on all your friends.